Sissy Carestas Fisher, medical billing audit insurance specialist with Fisher Insurance Agency in California, with some tips for medical professionals regarding medical billing audits and how you can protect yourself against losses associated with a medical billing audit. I'd like to talk about an innovative reimbursement insurance product designed to help healthcare professionals address the unique regulatory exposures they face, such as billing errors proceedings brought by government entities or private payers, as well as HIPAA proceedings and other medical regulatory proceedings. For starters, here are some statistics and trends for 2019. The Department of Justice obtained more than $3 billion, that's billion with a B, in settlements and judgments from civil cases involving fraud and false claims against the government in the fiscal year ending September 30, 2019. Of the more than $3 billion in settlements and judgments recovered, 2.6 billion relates to matters that involve the healthcare industry. This is the 10th consecutive year that the department's civil health care fraud settlements and judgments have exceeded $2 billion. Of the billions of dollars in savings and recovery in the fiscal year of 2019, more than 819 million is expected to be recovered from audits. And this is just by the government and does not include the private payer audits conducted by the insurance companies. To help break it down, the government uses sophisticated databases and employs actual individual auditors, such as RAC or recovery audit contractors, to aggressively investigate healthcare providers. However, the problem is that auditors have no medical background or experience and are paid on a contingency fee basis to find billing errors. Let's look at who can be audited. Anyone with a national provider identification number is susceptible to being audited. Healthcare providers include dentists, physicians, nurses, hospitals, laboratories, nursing homes, social service agencies, pharmacies, etc. Also, audits can come from other sources aside from RAC audits. They can be initiated by several other entities such as ZPIC, Zone Program Integrity Companies, PSC, Program Safeguard Contractors, HEAT, Healthcare Fraud Prevention and Enforcement Action Team, MICs, Medi-Cal or Medicaid Integrity Contractors, MAX, Medicare Administrative Contractors, or even by QUITAM whistleblowers from within the healthcare provider's own office, be it a current employee or past employee. In 2017, 669 QUITAM whistleblower suits were filed, an average of more than 12 cases every week. Typical errors find by, found by CMS are 40% for medically unnecessary procedures, 35% for incorrectly coded procedures, 8% for insufficient documentation or no documentation, and 17% for other miscellaneous billing errors. So the next set of questions are, do you bill for delivery of healthcare services to either public payers such as Medicare or Medicaid or private commercial payers? Does your practice comply with stark anti-kickback regulations? Is your practice subject to HIPAA, E-M-T-A-L-A? -A? If you answered yes to any or all of them, then you have to think of the time and expensive peripheral costs your practice will have to endure aside from the repayment of actual billing errors in the case of an audit. Peripheral costs such as legal fees and associated costs, shadow audit expenses, and regulatory fines and penalties including high compensation payments to whistleblowers for the government's and, uh, by the government entities levied to the health care providers as part of the associated fines and penalties of an audit. To help you with these peripheral expenses and fines, we here at Fisher Insurance Agency offer an innovative insurance product called MedDefense Plus. MedDefense Plus includes billing errors, proceedings, coverage in the form of reimbursement of defense costs, fines and penalties, and shadow audit expenses incurred in billing error proceedings brought by federal or state governmental agencies, QUITAM whistleblower plaintiffs, government working on, uh, contractors working on behalf of the government, such as ZPIC, RAC, and others, or commercial payers. 
MedDefense Plus also includes coverage for other medical regulatory violations, such as reimbursement of defense costs and fines, and penalties incurred by HIPAA, private patient, uh, patient privacy proceedings, EMTLA, Emergency Medical Treatment and Active Labor Act proceedings, and Stark Physical Physicians Self-Referral Proceedings. Also, full prior acts coverage is available. In addition to all these coverages, MedDefense Plus also includes coverage for cyber liability. Cybercrime damage is expected to hit three, I'm sorry, excuse me, six trillion annually by 2021. Healthcare facilities and providers are a definite target for cyber criminals. As a healthcare provider, you hold and are responsible for protecting others' confidential and personal, personal information, including medical records, electronic or paper, billing information, credit cards, addresses, bank information, etc., insurance information, social security numbers and dates of birth, employee information. Every so often, I've been told by a healthcare provider that they have the best IT team, IT team and will never be hacked. It's nice to have that type of confidence, but companies and government entities with far superior IT security systems who have been hacked may not agree with them. Costs to respond to a data breach are directly uh, proportional to the amount of records that are compromised. Based on industry research and expert advice, Data breach response costs are approximately $10 per record. The cyber coverage offered within the MedDefense Plus policy includes access to privacy law experts, access to IT security and forensics experts, public relations advertising support, breach notifications to patients and business partners, credit monitoring and ID theft restoration services to affected parties. As you can see, this is one of the most important types of coverage any healthcare provider needs to take advantage of in our current environment. With so much at stake and expenses to the healthcare provider from either an audit or cyber breach, the cost of this policy is minimal compared to the great extent of coverage offered. It is the one coverage no healthcare provider should be without today. I'm Sissy Kerestesh Fisher, Medical Billing Audit Insurance Specialist, and we here at Fisher Insurance Agency want to make sure you are protected properly. Give us a call today at 805-373-3934 or email us at sissy at insurancefisher.com for your complimentary quote. Thank you for your time.